Hi, I'm Dominic Goodwin of Nature Counters, here with a brief instructional video on how to read the results from one of our electronic nest box counters. Now this counter is fitted onto a Schwegler 1B Woodcrete nest box. Uh, they're very good solid nest boxes, they're used by ecologists and ornithologists and uh, garden bird watchers alike. Um, the box itself is made of Woodcrete and the counter is fitted into a housing that we've made out of a uh, wood composite material and it's uh, warm and light and quite strong and the counter is fully integrated into that housing so it just slips on in place of the normal uh, front panel of the Schregler 1B and with this clip at the bottom it, it clips securely into place. Now the screen will show the visit count normally, but every minute or so it will flash up the a timer uh, signal which shows how long it is since the last entry to this nest box. And the, uh, that internal timer counts every uh, in increments of six seconds. So when it puts up that number, you divide that by 600 to see when a bird last entered this box. And there it goes saying 3741. And if we divide that by 600, then we see that a bird last went into this box about five hours ago, uh, which would mean that on a sunny January morning like this, perhaps they're already, uh, birds are already evaluating where they're going to be nesting later on in the season. Uh, the fact that we've got a total count on here of about uh, 41, um, not all of those will be actual entries into the nest. Some of the times a bird will just pop its head in and, and look around and, and fly away again. Um, but that's been up for about two or three weeks now. And so there's obviously quite a bit of activity on this nest box, uh, which is a very good sign for the spring that birds will be nesting in here later on. Also, as well as the, uh, this timer signal since the last entry, uh, you'll see that it has a, a unique ID. Every, every counter that we send out has a unique number associated with it, which will allow easy recording of data, uh, um, assigning uh, visit frequencies to every individual counter, and that way we can build up a database of uh, of information about how nest boxes are being used over time and that will feed into the study of phenology which we'll talk about another time. So let's have a little look at the internal numbers that are stored in this counter and to do that we swipe this uh, reset magnet across the display. There is a little magnetic switch behind the display, a reed switch, and if we just swipe the magnet across then the counter will display the internal data that's been stored in this counter. It doesn't store uh, actual times and dates of every visit. Uh, for that, we've got a separate version that, which includes a real-time clock and a data logger. Uh, this version just counts, and it just has this one timer signal uh, which says how long it is since the last uh, entry to the nest box, but otherwise it just uh, counts. But what it does do is it counts different types of visit uh, differently. So if a bird actually enters the box, then that will be recorded as an entry. When a bird leaves the box, it will be recorded as an exit. But if a bird just pokes its head in and out again, then you see on the screen it says in out to show that that was a bird putting its head in and out again without actually going into the box. And that way, we can tell how, how often a bird has actually gone in and roosted in the box, let's say, as opposed to just looking for nesting sites and then flying away again. So let's have a look in a bit more detail at the numbers that come up uh, when we swipe the magnet. So here we are with a closer look at the counter. 
uh, the grips on here are allowed to allow the bird to grip on with its claws and, and make it easier to get into the nest box. The display here with the magnetic switch underneath, if I swipe this magnet across, there it is, it's showing the uh, counter first, it says how many unclear visits, then the ins, in, outs, outs, out, in, the total visit count, the number of ticks on the internal counter, and then it says, do I want to reset? And if I swipe the magnet across at that moment, then I would actually reset all of the internal counts to zero and uh, make a fresh start. I prefer to leave the counter just running and counting up and up and up. Uh, you, can, you can read the counter however you like. You can reset it each day or each time you visit and just record the incremental counts, or you can record the the total, it's up to you. So let's have one more look at that. There's the counter number 659. 19 unclear visits, that's often caused by insects. 36 entries, 36 exits. 75 out in movements. That means that while the bird was inside, it came to the entrance and looked out and then went back in again. So that's quite interesting, the, the sort of behaviour we can, we can see on this. Um, birds poking their heads out and looking in. There we see that uh, time signal popping up again and the total visit count of 42. So if you uh, do that each day, uh, swiping the magnet, reading off the results and building up a data set of information you'll get a good idea of how the birds are responding to this nest box, whether they are using it, uh, visiting it frequently. Now we're in January, as I say, we're using, the birds are using this for, for roosting each night, and I think that's a very good indication that they'll be nesting there. So um, this is giving us uh, some good information about the uh, birds' activity at this nesting site. The counter is completely self-contained, it just has a pair of AA batteries. As I say, we're, we've got another version which includes also an SD card uh, to record the times and dates of every entry and exit from the nest and, and every time a bird pokes its head in, um, but that will be the subject of another video another day. Okay, thank you very much for watching. See you again soon.